guy just on the beat. guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi I'm Sin and welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing my two week update about my Lipo 360 with BBL just before I get into it just let you guys know if you have any questions about like where I went how much it cost who my doctor was blah 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 I have a video explaining all of that into detail like all the who where why what all the other good stuff and I also have my six day vlog about everything that has all that in there as well just so that I don't be repeating myself too often all that is in those videos another thing before i start i am posting a giveaway with duval which i mean they sent me another one of these spin brushes which if you guys do not know about the spin brush i will try to link maybe two videos where i use it i've been using my spin brush for maybe a year or over a year now like i've had it for a good minute like and i still use it to this day used it this morning yeah. But anyway, so they sent me another one to do a video with on here, but I decided I wanted to do a giveaway to give to one of y'all because I love it just that much. This is what it looks like. The actual video, um, I'm doing a vlog, so uh, the actual video where this will be in will be in that one. So the giveaway will last two weeks. You can win this spin brush you get, if you focus, a large body brush, two facial brushes. One is exfoliate and one is just like an everyday brush and then a pumice stone for your foot. You get all of this. And if you want to enter the giveaway to win this, all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Like this video. Follow me on Instagram at simply send underscore. And then just comment down below. I'm looking for something to call my subscribers. I don't like, I haven't really gave y'all like a, a permanent name yet. So comment that down below and then that'll be your entry in if you would like to win this system. Okay, so now that we got all that out the way about all that good stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and get into like the two-week update. This is just basically me explaining like how my two weeks have been. I will be inserting like progress, I guess, videos and stuff because right now I got all this stuff on and I do not feel like taking it off because I'm gonna have to take it off again when I get to my massage appointment. So I'm gonna just insert videos and stuff. But I have a few like dotted things on this paper right here about what I want to talk about so I'm gonna just kind of like go down all of that so number one number one um I feel like I've been holding like a lot of fluid only because I wasn't drinking as much water as I was supposed to be drinking you need to be drinking like a lot a lot a lot of water I've been drinking maybe like three max four bottles a day i try to up it now but what i started doing was in my water which you can't see it because i mixed it in like a full bottle of water i add i got this lymphatic drops which i'll put um a picture of it and on a critique that i try to drink now um but i put three drops like three full things in each bottle of water that i drink and i try to drink like a full bottle of water like when i put it in there i try to drink a full bottle of water like right now and i drink tea so i'm trying to up my water intake because number one i feel like i'm developing um, fibrosis which is like hard places in your stomach and stuff which it could just be me retaining fluid and it's like building up in places but I don't know I go get a massage today so I'm just ask her because it's been a few days since my last massage because things happen so like I'm getting like really hard in my stomach so plus I did not wear my faha none yesterday well I did wear it but I didn't wear it to like sleep or nothing last night which is very uncomfortable I think I'm gonna sleep in it from now on and just like wear on and off throughout the day because to me wearing my faha all the time is not really doing nothing for me so i'm gonna try to wear my waist trainer if i'm not in my faha so that's that um with eating a lot of people say like after they come out they try to like eat good and stuff i try but like i've been eating like crazy like a mad person i've been eating out um I've been eating cookout. Like, I ate cookout like two, three days in a row. Um, but I ate Bojangles the day I came home from Miami. Like I've been eating out, eating pizza, wings, ice cream, candy. Like I've just been acting crazy late. Like. But I don't know. Like I feel like now I'm just chilling. Like I ain't trying to really do too much. And when I get to like that two month mark or when I can go do whatever, like I can go work out and stuff, I'm gonna try to like act right. I mean, I'm trying to stop eating like that, but I mean, it ain't nothing else to do to be honest. Like, so I just been eating. And then like another update, I don't walk like a duck no more. I can walk regular. I was walking like a duck because all of this stuff on me is just crazy. But I've been getting my own, um, my Fajas altered. And y'all, my lady only charged me $4 to, to alter one Faja, so praise her but she's located where i'm located which is in south carolina so if you're in south carolina dm me at, well not dm me but comment down below i'll tell you who she is because four dollars you can't beat that but yeah um so i noticed i needed to get my faja tight because y'all i was blown up like a balloon like i like a whole balloon 
and it was because my faja was loose. So make sure you get your faja tight end. I just ordered my stage two faja, which whenever it comes in, I'm gonna start wearing my stage two because most people change to their stage two after two weeks. So whenever mine's come in, I'm gonna change over to my stage two because I'm not really liking my stage one. To be honest um another update when i got my surgery done the main thing i asked him for i didn't show him no wish pics because i didn't really have time our meeting went like so quick but when before he left i told him i wanted like a bubble butt i wanted him to focus on projection and making my butt like fat from the back and i had that like the first two days because when i first got out and i looked at my butt i was like whoa like that might be a little too much second day when i went to my post op for them to like take pictures and stuff and I was looking at my butt I was just like dial like this butt kind of big but y'all when I tell you I lost all like all that I lost all that projection like it's it's really crazy like I'm gonna have to re-put like a video when I first got out and then like show you my um, progress stuff but a lot of my volume I lost I'm hoping that it's gonna come back because they say a lot of times you lose that fat like that volume like within like your first your first week to a month and then during your second to third month it kind of like comes back over time or whatever I hope that happens because I mean I didn't want it that big but at the same time like I didn't want to lose all of it like I mean I still have a pretty nice size like little touche but <laughs> in my head when I look at it I'd be like dang I could have really worked out to get that I mean hey I'm happy with it it's just like I didn't expect to lose all of that volume that I had yeah um I started getting like itching and burning sensations in my stomach and stuff um like around it like when I'm out of my faja and I don't have compression I itch I itch so bad and sometimes even when I'm in my faja my butt be itching like just the outside like it just be like the outside areas like it just itch and then like my stomach it be my size and like around where I have like those little hard places it itches so bad so whenever I'm out of my faja I itch it don't matter what I put on I'm, I be I just be itching um I see someone say to say Benadryl for it so I think I'm gonna end up just getting some Benadryl for because it's like a like an itch itch I can't take it oh yeah and my mom she got me a pregnancy pillow which no you couldn't see in the vlog but yeah she got me a pregnancy pillow I'll try to insert a picture of that as well that's what I ride around on in my car and um when like somebody's driving me around when I'm driving I'm in a I'm when I'm driving I sit on a BBL pillow and I have like the little black the back thing which I showed in my vlog my six day vlog I'll show what those look like and I'm gonna try to show like how I drive and stuff on the pillow in my upcoming vlog after this but anyway I got a pregnancy she got me a pregnancy pillow so I sleep on that a lot of times and y'all I woke up in the middle of the night one time because I was literally on my ass <laughs> cuz like I, I was sleeping in the middle of it like it's, it's like this and I literally, I laid in the middle of like my head. And when I woke up, I was like this. So I was on like this cheek, like just laid on it. it scared the shit out of me. But other than that, I look, I do like the pillow. It's just, it's hard to sleep on sometimes if I can't get right with all of this stuff on. So, but I really do recommend that pillow. Like I love it to ride in my car. In the back seat, it's perfect. Oh yeah, and then the last, like this is, I really don't have too many updates. Cause like I told y'all in my blog, like it's, it's not that bad. A lot of people claim like when you get it done, it feels like you get, like you got hit by a bus. For me, it didn't feel like I got hit by a bus. Maybe by like somebody on the bicycle or something, somebody on the scooter. Like it wasn't that bad of a pain. It's just like, yeah, you be sore. Maybe like you worked out 15 days straight, no breaks. Um, now I have like really no pain, no nothing. Like I just be chilling. I am going to take my pain medicine over for the massage cause them massages jesus they hit different but for the most part like with pain i haven't really had any pain any soreness to be honest besides getting like my massages and stuff everything's been easy like going to the bathroom nothing's been hard i i'm i have the mobility to to do all like this stuff right here so like i'm thankful feel blessed um it's been going smooth so like i'm not going to do like another update to like a month just to kind of show like what i'm looking like more of i'm probably going to do like a trial haul at my one month video because i feel like this is kind of like boring like like i said ain't nothing really going on with me besides like i might have fibrosis who knows um i slept on my ass cheek one good time um i lost like 85 percent of the volume that i had other than that it's really nothing like major about what's going on but again, if I did not have progress pictures going throughout, I'll add some at the end. And if not, I'll try to get a video of like what I look like at my massage place so I can show you guys at the end of this video or whatever. But if you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, or just, you know, watched it to this point, <laughs> make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll be having a lot of things um, 
coming up trying to incorporate with my channel and with my business so just stay tuned and hopefully i will see you guys in my next video which is my vlog make sure you enter the giveaway that i have going on with the duval spin brush like i said i love that brush so make sure that you enter and i love you guys see you signing off peace guys it's on the